Hey guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Haggis Gaming series on The Sims 4 and in today's episode I'm going to give you a little tour around the house that we've now finished um, in the last episode if you've not seen that um, I'll put a link here um, just so you can go back to that and watch it what it is is basically a time lapse of me building the outside of the building uh, so just building the building itself and the garden and the surrounding area um, so we just first of all have a wee clip look at that um, so around the front here we've got lots of kind of trees and plants and flowers and stuff like that um, and instead of just having like square boxes um, we've kind of you know made some walls coming out here put these window boxes in uh, cut away certain sections and that's left us with these kind of wrap around balconies which I think are really cool um, around the side here if we have a look we've got a little kind of Japanese garden thing going on with a path and stuff like that um, a swimming pool down here, jacuzzi and a little kind of seating area where they can have something to eat as well with a barbecue and a little uh, cabinet thing down here that they can make stuff on. Um, if we keep going around the back we've got nice kind of seating, uh, almost like a, an upstairs kind of patio balcony area and they can come out here again they've got a bar and uh, a seating area and a barbecue is what I'm looking for there. And again up the stairs for the, the very top floor we've got another small little uh, outdoor seating area. Um, if we come round here we've got some nice trees lit up round here and round this side we've got some nice flowers and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with like how this house turned out. Um, on the outside especially I think it looks really nice. Um, but the inside, the inside, oh, I just love the inside. I spent a couple of hours on uh, the Twitch live stream so if you watch the live stream on Twitch thanks very much for tuning into that. I really enjoyed doing this house on the live stream that day. Um, it took us like all day to do this but it was definitely worth it I think. Um, so we go and we start with the, the living room area. When they come in here, let's zoom down. So down here we've got our Kind of table here with some pictures and flowers and stuff like that. A little area for their shoes and our tiki bar over in the corner, which I think looks really, really cool. And uh, zoom out a little bit. We've got our normal seating area over here with a mirror on the wall. I don't want a TV in the living room. I just I don't know. I don't like a t I don't like them sitting watching TV in the living room. They can have that up in the bedroom. Off Alessandra Swab goes there just now. He's away up to watch TV. Over here we've got a little DJ booth area with our obligatory Casey Neistat poster. <laughs> I think that guy kind of looks like him just because of the sunglasses. Uh, if we come round this way, we've got our dining area. Again, a little seating area in the corner here. Um, and over here, we've got our computer desk area. Um, so, little plants, a pin board, and posters and stuff like that. Guitar as well. Uh, really made use of the Move Objects cheat in this. Um, it's a great cheat. I would definitely suggest that you do use that when you're playing The Sims, doing your building, especially. Um, because it allows you just to put uh, items in places that. I certainly feel you really should be able to put them anyway, um, but the game doesn't let you. Um, like for example, these uh, wall cabinets here, the game wants to actually have these, like a, like one of these wee tiles off the wall, so it's like a, a gap between, uh, quite a large gap between the cupboard and the wall, and it's just not natural looking. Uh, so with the move objects cheat on, you can kind of move it back into the wall like that, um, and you can also put objects on other things that you normally wouldn't be able to do. So. It's, it's really good for that, I would definitely suggest you use that. Uh, having a look at the kitchen here, really like how the kitchen turned out. So if we come in here it's really cool. Check that out, not bad. Got our pink microwave as well in the corner there. Really nice. Uh, let's have a look if we can't go around this way. So this is how the living room looks when you're in it. And we've got our staircase over here, we'll go up there in a moment. Um, if we go through to this room in here, I don't know if this is going to work when we go through here because it's quite tight. But this is our, our bathroom, our downstairs bathroom area. Let's see if we can actually... I don't know if there's like rotational camera buttons, but still not used. This is the old Sims 3 camera I'm using. I've been using the Sims 4 one for quite a while, so let's see. You can just see it's a nice basic bathroom in there. Got the little shower and bath cabinet. Oh, it needs to clean up some clothes there. And his dress again. I love the candles and the light that they produce as well. In this bedroom, we've just got like a kind of downstairs bedroom, which you'll see there. Pretty cool looking. Got our books and stuff like that. Little seating area where they can sit and read. Uh, our wardrobes over here as well. Little light in the corner. Uh, TV here for the bedroom. Uh, a little plant down there. I think I was actually going to put that on a table and I've just forgot. <laughs> I might do that at some point. Got a little picture over here and Serenity Stones and stuff like that in the corner. There's little bunny rabbits on the wall because it's a nice sleepy bedroom. So I really like how the, be the bedroom and the downstairs turned out as a whole. 
It's pretty good actually. Um, let's see. We go up the stairs. So when we come up the stairs, just got a basic hall. Didn't want to put any paintings or anything or posters up. Just thought I'd keep it like with the wallpaper as it is. Um, if we go in here first, this is the master suite. So that's his bedroom here with his little IKEA chest of drawers either side. A little seating area over here and a nice table with some candles in it. If we spin round, we've got his uh, mirror over in the corner, the biggest TV that you can actually get on the wall, which is just crazy. But oh man, how good would that be if you actually lived in this house and got a big TV like that? That's the dream. One day, and over here we've got his little computer area where he can sit and play The Sims 4, just like we're doing, and. His bathroom, he's got an ensuite bathroom up the stair with this little jacuzzi hot tub thing, um, basic toilet, that kind of stuff. And he's got access here, and so does the other bedroom, to the outdoor balcony area. And if we just move across here again, we've got another little bedroom. I really like the window, but uh, the, I don't know what you would call this, it's, it's like a bay, it's like two bay windows joined together really, isn't it? On the corner. So, it's really cool the way that's worked out and it's got this little wrap around balcony but you can't walk on that, it's just roofing and stuff like that, we blocked that bit off. Um, I just noticed uh, that guy there changes and he becomes like a werewolf guy, that's really weird, I never noticed that before. It's because I'm, I'm playing it in uh, build mode normally and I've got it in kind of play mode. Here you can see the upstairs bathroom uh, where we've got all our little accessories and stuff like that. Just adding these little extra touches makes the difference. Um, so add things, you know, take them away if they don't work, but um, just chop and change it, you know. See what works and what doesn't. Um, don't just build a room like a bathroom and put a toilet sink and shower in it and have done with it. You know, that's not natural. You need to kind of fill it with stuff and clutter really, that's what you would call it. And, I suppose that's the way life kind of is because if you look at people's houses that you know they're not always neat and tidy. Um, there is clutter, there is things on tables and stuff like that. So doing that in the game uh, it just makes it that bit more realistic, you know. Uh, we've got our little staircase here, which goes up to the top floor where we've got our gym area, a um, couple of TVs as well, and a bar and a couple of lounge seats over here, so they can kind of sit and chill, maybe have some parties up here. I think that'd be a good area to do that. It's definitely a good house to have a party in. Uh, we had a party in the live stream on Twitch the other day um, in the house, so that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, let's see what day is it? Sunday, it's like 2 in the morning. He's full of energy. I don't know why he's up so late. He's normally like absolutely shattered by this time. Um, so if it's Sunday, why don't we actually... He's not got work just now, but... Um, let's make him play video games. Let's get down the stairs here. Okay, Alessandro, where are you? Play some games. Let's play The Sims Forever. I'm just going to turn this thing off here. Oh, does it just always stay on then? That can't be right, surely. Oh well, just leave that. So, Alessandro just now, he's a code monkey. That's his job, so he's like a programmer type guy. Um, it's a, not a bad paint job, but it's taken a while for him to get promoted to the next level. Normally, in this, I was getting promoted quite quickly, um, but it seems to have slowed down now. We just took a vacation as well, because um, I think he was working too hard. So we took him on a vacation with his friend Travis. Him and Travis went to this uh, nice, really nice house, actually, um, in the forest. And they went on a hike together as well. That was something we did in the live stream, which was really enjoyable. Um, most of the time he wasn't really with Travis. Oh, I forgot about that as well. He got a girlfriend when he was there. Uh, there's a park ranger that ba basically just turned up one night when we were in our big house uh, in the forest, wanting to introduce herself. And I decided that Alessandro, you know, should uh, maybe try it on with her. And he was very successful um, and got to woohoo with her up the stairs after he told Travis to go away. <laughs> Travis kept coming over and interrupting him while he was trying to be flirty with... Oh, what was her name now? Let me think. Um, oh, I can't remember her name, but we need to go back and see her. I could probably give her a phone, actually, and see what she's up to. Mind you, it is like 20 past 3 in the morning, so that's probably not the best idea. Um, how is his needs? His needs just don't seem to be really going down like they normally do, which is kind of weird. Um, I'll make him go to the toilet. Uh, let's have a look here. Use that. Um, so yeah, I mean that's the tour of the house. I, I th it's absolutely beautiful. I think I would love to live in a house like this, um, and hopefully one day we'll, we'll make that achievement or that goal, and we'll get to live in a beautiful house like this. When I was doing the the live stream as well, when I was building this house, um, or not building it, sorry, filling it and furnishing it, uh, a guy came into the live stream and he's like, "Whoa, dude, is this your house?" 
Um, and I thought, you know what, yeah, that is my house. <laughs> He's like, well, that's amazing. But in the end, we told him it wasn't. <laughs> one day, people, one day we'll get that. No, I think he's not really got like that lack of energy but we we probably should make him sleep for a couple of hours just so he doesn't fade uh, like late on during the day on Sunday so I think uh, no 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 we don't want to watch TV let's go for a nap up the stairs Alessandro also want to claim that bed because we've not done that yet so if we send him up for a sleep and we fast forward that and get through his sleep he doesn't have work today so I'm just wondering what we should do with him. We should maybe increase his programming skill. I mean, I know we've already got the level that we need for the uh, promotion requirements, but you know, I think he needs to do the programming thing every day just so he gets better at it. And that way, if we need to get up another level, we'll have already achieved that. So let's have a look here. Surely he's needing something to eat. Yeah, let's go and get him some breakfast then. Uh, have breakfast. Eggs on toast. Um, once he's had his breakfast, I think I'll give him a quick shower. Just a brisk shower. Get him energised. And after that, then he can settle down and do his programming. Um, let's get him to make a plugin. Um, I think, if I remember right, they actually sell the plugins and they can make a little bit of money off it, so that's quite good. Um, we've not got a lot of cash at the moment because I've just really been using the cash from his job to actually work this. Uh, when I built the house I did that in the build mode so that I, I had infinite money if you like and could place all the things we wanted to do. Um, I don't want to use the money cheat to, to make him get money, I'd rather he earn the money in this let's play if you want to call it that. Um, that way, you know, it's just I'd just rather he earn the money and then he was able to buy things with that. Um, the house, I was, I was quite happy just to actually make him build the house and build mode without using any money. I'm, I've not got an issue with that but I think just as we go through the game now he should be using his own money to do things to pay his bills etc. So we'll just keep doing that that way just now. So he's not going to work for another two days um, or not. it's not really two days actually. He's got work tomorrow. So I mean he'll pretty much be starting work in uh, 26 hours. So it's going to be like down to a day. Let's see. So that should sort his hunger out. Um, once he's finished with that, then he can go for a shower. There you go, dude. You can stop eating that now. You can go for a shower. And then I think we'll see if his girlfriend wants to come over. So, invite to hang out. Oh, where is she? Nora! That's who it was. Nora Shepherd. Nora the Ranger. She's a forest ranger. Right, let's see. So, he's going to do some programming just now. That'll be good because he needs to do that for his work tomorrow, so I'm glad he's actually doing that now. That shouldn't take him too long to do that, and he's I think he's going to level up soon as well, so hopefully when he's making this plug-in, he'll get leveled up. I'm wondering actually if, I should, if he doesn't get leveled up, if I should just continue to do it actually until he does get leveled up. That's probably the best thing. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's just fast forward through this. So he's made his plug-in, he's earned 13... He's going to call her Nora, and I think I'll actually just get him to do some more programming again. Just to practice his uh, programming skill and just to increase that because it's just about to go over the level. And once it goes over the level, then you can stop that. There we go, he's leveled up. Um, I'll, I'll actually I'll let him continue doing what he's doing actually until he's finished it and Nora comes over. She shouldn't be too long. Come on, dude. Nearly done. Where is Nora, man? You think she'd be here? Is that her there? Nope. <laughs> I wonder if she'll come over in her park ranger uniform. Or, in fact, did... Yeah, did... I didn't actually see whether it said she was going to come over. Maybe she's not coming over. What's this? Send a text. Who are you sending a text to? Oh, I can make a virus now. Now, why would I want to do that? That's nasty. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a nasty sim. Right. So I don't. I think Nora must have rejected her. 
or offers to come over. I tell you what, though, we'll wrap up the episode there because I just really wanted this to be a tour of the house and quite a short episode, guys. So I think I'll do another episode, uh, a proper let's play where we actually play the game out. So um, keep an eye out for that over the next couple of days. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description uh, for my Twitch page. Be sure to come over and see me because I will be doing live streaming uh, quite a lot over the next few weeks now um, as I've got a lot of time in my hands. Um, so if you, you can come over and check out the live stream, I'd much appreciate that. Um, and it's a great way, I think, for us to interact as well because you can chat to me directly in the chat and I can respond to you straight away and I've also I've met some great people over there so it's a good opportunity for you to meet people as well people that like the games uh, and I will play the sims in the live stream I also play games such as City Skylines, Minecraft uh, and currently Planet Coaster which is one of my favourite games just now that's a really really good game so check out those on the live stream and also keep an eye out for the next sims video which should be out in the next couple of days um, for uh, the next video that I'm actually going to do on YouTube um, I'm probably thinking uh, it'll be a City Skylines video because um, I'm looking to try and get back into that game a bit because I've not really been playing it much over the last few weeks um, so hopefully I'll be doing that either today or tomorrow the video should be out the following day so keep an eye out for that as well and uh, make sure you like the video comment on the channel let me know what you think as well and hit that subscribe button so thanks very much for watching guys and I'll catch up with you later and remember you can also follow me on Twitch as well uh, sorry not Twitch on Twitter um, if you want to know when I'm going to be online and when new videos are posted so make sure you follow me on there thanks very much for watching guys bye bye